good morning students we continue where we left in our last class that learning second language become a different task a difficult task at the initial stage because the software or the program of the mother tongue and the background of the culture from which the learner of english has come has some contrast some differences between them and as these differences are removed are pointed out the learner gets the ability to use english in its correct form so there is nothing like deficits everybody can learn any language if he is able to realize sort out and understand the differences so we continue with our this class in our last class we have discussed certain points that try to understand the important features of the native culture then the differences which are causing the more trouble then identification of the linguistic differences between the languages making comparison and trying to understand the errors and how not to repeat them now we come to a common question that what a person should do who is learning english as a second language or the tips for english as a second language speakers first of all get help we should get help from the tutor or the teachers clarification on any assignment or progress in the course should be followed regularly so first of all we should be in constant touch with our tutor because he is the person who is going to provide us the atmosphere the environment the correct use of english second participation in the class a multilingual is looked upon in the class for he knows more than one language and more than one culture now it should not cause inferiority in you but you have this advantage if you have migrated to britain and you are in a class with the native people then you have the advantage of the background of indian culture you have the advantage of knowing hindi or any regional language of our country and now english is going to be your second language while for those native they are learning english as their mother tongue so they are learning the first language you should be proud of this you should have confidence in you in class or in group one should listen attentively to others and engage in informative discourses one should be ready to accept cross cultural perspectives means active participation in the class is necessary and is expected next point follow the social code and conventions it is necessary to be aware of the standard social codes and manners of that culture and also about those of the native culture which are not accepted in that second culture if we are learning english here in our own country then there will be not such a problem but still if we try to understand english if we want to use english correctly correct in a correct way then it is necessary for us to have some knowledge about the english culture about their society about their codes and conducts then we will be able to locate the use of english in proper tenor and domain next point try to be formal and standard in learning the second language the newly learned words and expressions should be first in safe situations if there is any doubt about the connotation the help of a friend or tutor should be taken 
फॉर्मल एंड स्टैंडर्ड इज द हॉलमार्क ऑफ अवर इंग्लिश एज सेकेंड लैंग्वेज वी शुड ट्राई टू फॉलो द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ इंग्लिश द ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश द आर पी दैट शुड बी अवर टेस्टिंग पॉइंट वी शुड नॉट इंडल्ज इन द वेराइटीज और डायलैक्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश इफ वी आर लर्निंग इट एज ए सेकेंड लैंग्वेज कंसल्ट लर्नर्स डिक्शनरी दैट इज एन अदर एडवाइस ई एस एल स्टूडेंट्स मीन्स इंग्लिश एज ए सेकेंड लैंग्वेज स्टूडेंट्स शुड मेक यूज ऑफ इंग्लिश डिक्शनरीज स्पेशली डिजाइंड फॉर मल्टी लिंग्वल स्टूडेंट्स सच डिक्शनरीज ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस कल्चर रेफरेंसेज ऑफ द वर्ड्स सो अ गुड डिक्शनरी इज द मस्ट इन द बिगनिंग द बाइलिंग्वल डिक्शनरी फ्रॉम इंग्लिश टू हिंदी मे बी यूज बट वैन वी मेक प्रोग्रेस इन लर्निंग द लैंग्वेज वी शुड ट्राई टू यूज कंसल्ट द डिक्शनरी विच इज इंग्लिश टू इंग्लिश और इवन इफ इवन वी आर यूजिंग इंग्लिश टू हिंदी डिक्शनरी इवन इन दैट डिक्शनरी इंग्लिश वर्ड्स आर ऑल्सो गिवन वी शुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दोज वर्ड्स and if there is any doubt how this word is different from that word we should consult the dictionary further keep a learning log that is noting down your mistakes during the early days one should note down the errors and correct forms whatever you have learnt you should note it down if there is any important point you should note it down differences from the standard form are not bad so these are the points if we follow these points then we will be able to identify the differences between our mother tongue between hindi and english and then we will have picture clear in our mind where we have to be more careful in using second language in initial stage after some time it will become our habit we will be habitual of our using second language and then automatically we use it correctly differences from the standard form are not bad errors and differences are indications of progress in learning because error means that you are entering a new field one should always try new words new expressions and new combinations and welcome the welcome the what other describe as errors you should welcome your errors and try to rectify them the error should be analyzed and rectified multilingualism and multiculturalism is a common phenomenon in our modern world there are certain transfer errors in the process of learning second language these errors should be regarded only differences not deficits thus with confidence second language learners should learn english to make an effective use of it in communication in our next class we will discuss the learning errors the transfer errors for today thank you very much for watching and take care and stay safe as usual thank you students